<laughs> hey everybody, I kind of derailed the show and tell last weekend by showing up unannounced in this outfit. Okay. <laughs> it got a lot of laughs and it also got a lot of questions. So I'm going to try to summarize a bit of what I've done here in case you're wanting to try the same idea for Halloween or other times of year like Burning Man or comic conventions. This was a mashup of a couple tutorials from the preceding weeks. The first was a voice changer using the Adafruit Wave Shield. We represent the Lollipop Guild. Do not underestimate the power of the Force. The second was an animation tutorial for our mini LED matrices, fitting them inside various Halloween props. Run, coward! So the question was, could I combine the two? and make a mask that had the LED face animation and also the voice changer and then get the mouth to respond to my own voice. As a base I had started with a carnival style mask from a craft store but don't do that. These were designed to be decorated and hung on the wall and I had to modify it a lot to even get it to fit over a, a human head. So a better idea would be go to a Halloween or costume store and they'll have something like this that's actually designed to be worn or of course you could use a hockey mask. For a first try, what you saw on show and tell, I used a hot glue gun and mounted the LED matrices directly onto the surface of the mask. And this works fine, but I didn't like the bumpy appearance that it gave the face. So for a second try, I'm putting a flat plate in front of the mask and installing the LED matrices in that. There's a lot of moisture and breath, and that's going to wreak havoc with our electronics, which are right in front of the mouth. So a couple tricks I used there. For the microphone, I sealed it inside a tiny Ziploc bag using a rubber band, and that keeps out the breath and the spit and the yuck. And likewise, the LED matrices, there's some tiny solder pads on the back and bits of moisture can bridge those and cause them confusion. So what I did there was use a hot glue gun and covered up those pads and so far it's worked pretty good at keeping out the moisture. What you didn't see during show and tell is there were actually a lot of electronics strewn all over the desk. And so what I'll need to do before Halloween is fold all of that down into a belt pouch along with batteries. And an important bit of advice there is to use two battery packs, one specifically for the speaker amplifier and one for the Arduino and the other electronics. And the reason for that is explained in the voice changer tutorial, so check it out. The skin is what's called a morph suit or a second skin. It's basically a full body stocking that's popular with a lot of sports fans right now and they come in all the different team colors. I picked up the basic black because I just wanted a spooky silhouette shape. It looks like it should be opaque, but any bank robber will tell you, you can actually see through very slightly. And it seemed to me that if light could get in, that we could pass light out just as well. And it turns out to work really good for this. So most of these electronics will be in a pouch in the back, but the voice needs to project forward. So I had a couple of ideas there. One is to simply use one of these battery MP3 speakers and maybe decorate it like a evil medallion that could be worn around the neck. My other idea is to use our Class D audio amplifier and a couple of bare speakers and then create sort of a false rib cage. This is just a small test, but there's two layers here and I think there's enough space that I could conceal the speakers inside and then wear that over the chest and it's more consistent with the look of the suit. And then as a last step, you can accessorize. I thought the horns were kind of cool. <laughs> hey, is it time to scare kids yet? And remember, Saturday before Halloween, we'll be having a costume contest on Google Plus Hangouts. It does not need to be an electronics project. It could be any maker skill, whether sewing or CNC or dumpster diving, you name it. We like it, so we hope you'll join us. What? I'm a eunuch demon. <laughs>